Glory to God, you are welcome to the Ghana for Christ Crusade with myself, Lawrence Tete, and my good friend, Dr. Rich Robert from the Oral Robert Ministry from the USA. Hello, I'm Richard Roberts from the Oral Roberts Ministries right here in Tulsa, Oklahoma in the United States. And I have news for all of my friends in Ghana. I am coming to Accra. Yes, that's right. God has spoken to my heart to come to Accra to preach, to pray for the sick, and to see God confirm His Word with miracles and signs and wonders. Bring me those crutches. Bring me those crutches. This man couldn't see for four years. Tonight she can walk and touch her toes. Come on, walk. Joining with my good friend, Dr. Lawrence Tete, for a three-day miracle explosion in the Accra Trade Fair Center, February 2nd through February the 5th. And this is your personal invitation. We are believing God with you from the 2nd of February through to the 5th of February for a great crusade every evening at 6 p.m. I'm praying and believing that God is going to do many miracles and signs and wonders. I'm expecting the blind to see. I'm expecting the deaf to hear. I'm expecting the cripples to walk. I'm expecting the power of the Holy Spirit to come into your life. So I'll see you February 2 through 5 in Accra. God bless you. Looking forward to being back in the nation of Ghana. God is about to change your destiny. Bring the sick, the wounded, and those who are believing God for miracles in your life will never be the same. I've prayed towards this program. My good friend, Dr. Richard Robert of the Aura Robert Ministry is also coming with a theme and your life will never be the same again. Come and let's believe God together. The special guest for this program is going to be the right Reverend Dr. Yalfi Bon Manso, the chairman of Ghana Christian Council. We are believing God together with all the leaders in Ghana for your miracle and your faithful. Glory to God, viewers, you are welcome to Miracle Touch with me, Lawrence Tete. What an exciting time we live in. We thank all of you, our viewers, for your comments and your contributions and your support. We appreciate every one of you, and God bless you. Today with me here in the UK is one of the greatest gifts God gave, not only to Ghana, but to the entire world. The Right Reverend Dr. Yalfrey Bonmanson, who schooled here in the UK, graduated with his PhD here, but is also the current moderator of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, and then the chairman of Ghana Christian Council. Welcome, Papa. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good to see you again. And you're looking fresh. Uh, well, um, it is by God's grace. Amen. Tell us something of the message you just gave. It was a wonderful message. Yeah, I worshipped here at the Beneza Congregation uh, of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana. In London. Yeah. In London. Bermond Street. Yeah. And the uh, theme for us today is Jesus Christ, the greatest provider. And um, we know from the story in Genesis where Abraham was supposed to sacrifice his son Isaac. And uh, they were going and the son asked that you have knife, you have coals, you have all the items for sacrifice. But I don't see one thing. Where is the lamb for the sacrifice? And Abraham said, my son, the Lord will provide. And that was uh, an affirmation of the fact that the Lord is the greatest provider. And indeed, uh, by the end of the story, you hear that the Lord had provided a lamb for the sacrifice. And uh, that is the theme that we have had today. Uh, from birth to death, he provides our needs. And some actually ask for wants instead of needs. Uh, the wants are many. Uh, we want food, we want water. Uh, in times of calamity and catastrophe like you have in Haiti, people are looking for medicine, food, and all kinds of things. The things that we need as human beings are many, but it is the Lord who provides all these things. However, the greatest needs are there. They are spiritual needs. Jesus Christ himself, the bread of life. 
is the greatest spiritual need of man. After all, the corruption of the heart is the bane of development. And so we need Jesus Christ, the greatest provider of righteousness, holiness. And our God giving us a new a name, a new name, making us his people, means that we have Jesus Christ in our hearts, reconciling us back to God. And so we have to seek the greatest needs of our life, the spiritual needs, the bread of life, Jesus himself, the living water that God provides through the power of the Holy Spirit and the word of God, truth. And then spiritual needs of fellowship, uh, spiritual needs of um, knowing God better and living in righteousness. All these are some of the things that we must rather crave for instead of just the transient uh, temporal things of life which we may get, but they may not be satisfying enough. And so that is the theme that we have discussed here.